Hey, this is the stash, and I've got the manicure. I don't know what's wrong with that thing. Let me uh, pause for a minute, and then I'll just try to clip this part out. Not working right. Okay, I'm going to do it again right here. Hi, this is the Stash, and I've got the Medicare guru, Mr. Chris Orr, in the office with me today. He's answering our Medicare questions. And today we want to know, do I need to enroll in Medicare if I work past 65, Chris? Hey, thanks for the question, Bill. Um, while it's not mandatory, we recommend you enroll in Part A coverage as soon as you become eligible if you qualify for a premium Part A coverage. However, if you delay Medicare Part A, you will be later uh, able to enroll during a general enrollment period or special enrollment period if you qualify. But if you delay enrollment in general enrollment period, you will be required to pay a late enrollment penalties on the Medicare. If your employer offers credible coverage, you do not need to enroll in Part B if you're working past age 65. Credible coverage is health care coverage that provides at least equal benefits to original Medicare. Suppose you do not have credible coverage and you do not enroll in Medicare Part B when you're first eligible. In this case, you may have to pay a Part B late enrollment penalty as long as you have the Medicare Part B. Remember that even if you have credible coverage, it is essential to compare your current plan to original Medicare with the Medigap and a Part D. Often in combining these Medicare plans will provide the most comprehensive coverage possible. Thanks for your question, Bill. Oh, great answer, and that can actually save people money. So we'll be back with Chris at another time to answer more of your Medicare enrollment questions.